Hello everyone, this is Kosher Bacon. Welcome to Minecraft 113. It's finally out. Uh, got out earlier this evening, afternoon I guess for me. So, downloaded it, installed it, and then I had to go do real world stuff so I wasn't able to get an episode out quickly. So this one's going to be out a little bit later than normal, but I'm really excited to play with this. So I'm going to create a new world. Uh, we're going to call it Kosher Bacon LP. I spell good. Now we're gonna leave cheats off. World type will be default. Buffet is just one type, one biome type for the entire thing. The customize well option no longer exists. Done. Uh, survival mode. We're gonna play hard difficulty. Okay, we are in our world. Uh, slash seed. So this is the seed in case anyone wants to play in this world too. Um, uh, tick lag. Why you do that? Alright, not too bad. So, what is our goal with this world? Well, we are going to... This is going to be my main world over here. So that means that if I'm going to build a crazy contraption that doesn't require creative mode, it's going to be in this. If I want to build a castle, it's going to be in this. So the goal is to have this be our forever world, basically. Minecraft is in a state right now where... Updates shouldn't really uh, break existing worlds so much. The worst that will happen is you have to go out of where you've explored already to find new stuff. Uh, here we got some stone exposed right over here, so let's just go mine up three of them and get ourselves a stone pickaxe. So yeah, uh, the plan is, in order to avoid fatigue with the game, is to just take it at our own pace. Don't bum rush to the end and get efficiency 5, haste 2, diamond pickaxes and stuff. We're just going to take it slow, do whatever we want, play around with the game mechanics. Uh, the plan is, instead of having one gigantic bit, you know what, I'll talk about that in just a minute, actually. But basically, the way I've always done it in the past with the Minecraft world is I have one real main base area, and maybe tiny outposts here or there if there's something specific needed. For example, in one of the previous world tours, I showed off a uh, ocean monument that I was planning to convert into a guardian farm. Technically, that would be one of those outposts I'm talking about. Why did I make a second pickaxe? I'm dumb. I wanted an axe. That's fine. So let's see. I heard some chickens. Let's maybe go find some food. The plan is to play without Optifine, unless we need it, which we might need it, because if you look at the frame rate, it is not great right now. Performance is probably going to be improved in the next couple weeks with 113.1, uh, 113.2, maybe more. That is a mob head poking through a corner. That looks really weird. You know what? The chickens can live. I want sheep, and I saw some sheep over there. I need wool. So right now, it's going to be a pretty uh, standard first episode. Punch a tree, mine some stone, get stone tools, go throw ourselves down a hole for a while, cave for a bit. Uh, cheats is not on, so I'm not going to give myself the recipes. I guess I'll just unlock them as needed. Alright, so we've got an interesting start over here. I don't particularly care for starting in world spawn, it's just nice to be close by. But let's take a look at what we're around. I see a roofed forest off in the distance. There's a nice big mountainous area over here, some cows. We started in a forest, so we'll probably clear this area out and build our first home here. Uh, this will be just your typical starter shack. I kind of want to get up this tree to see things. Um, is that... I see two giant mushrooms up there, I think. It's a nice cave right off the bat. So, building. I am bad at building in this game. Like, I'm really bad at this game, as far as building goes. So yeah, a big thing to do in Minecraft is to always, or at least for me, is to challenge myself and try stuff that's new. Because I've played Minecraft before, I've played Survival Worlds before, and um, if you just do the same thing every time, it gets boring, it gets stale, and then you don't want to play anymore, and then you quit your world and start a new one, and then you repeat. I don't want to do that, so this is going to be permanent world. Saying it on camera so it has to be true. We will not start a new Survival World, ever. Unless, like, an update comes out that totally breaks everything ever. Like Minecraft 2.0, if that ever becomes a thing. Anyways, there is a creeper down there. 
So let's not go down there. What do we want to do right off the bat? It's an extreme hills biome, so there's going to be some coal on the surface for torches. Um... Oh, llamas, that's right, and pigs. Well, we got some very nice animal diversity. Uh, so yeah. Normally, if I want to build, I normally just dig into a mountain, build, be done with it. Uh, with that last world I showed off, my most current one other than this, I had challenged myself to try and... I don't need this. Why did I take that out? That is a weird noise. So I challenged myself to try and build actual structures with roofs and walls and stuff versus caves where it's just, hey, go dig out a room and decorate the inside. You don't need to worry about what it looks like on the outside because it's inside a mountain. And we do have a nice mountain over here that I might do that with. But the point is, rather than have one gigantic main base, we're going to have a series of several smaller bases. Um, you know, I don't like how there are all these mobs over here, so I'm going to pull some S8, uh, some super hostile stuff. Oh, lag, now is not the time. Yeah, no. You can just not be there right now, that'd be great. Anyways, we're gonna go this way, and ow, oh, we are almost dead. Well, not we're like, half dead. A little more, actually. Did you see that dodge? Here, let's do this before I forget, because I forget and then I'm dumb. Bad. <laughs> there we go. That should keep the skeleton from hurting us. Uh, let's just make some charcoal for now. It's usually pretty pointless to make charcoal early on, because coal is so easy to find and abundant. But in this case, because I'm taking things slower, I don't mind. Uh, so for right now, we're not going to plant trees. We're going to try and clear out this area. This will be a good front lawn area. I was a little inspired by uh, Etho and another uh, YouTube Minecraft YouTuber. I'm inspired by his thing, his world, for example, I'm envious of. He's had that thing since 1.9. Beta 1.9. That's insane, like... That world has history. More history than our own world at this point. Oh, that's Andesite. Why am I mining that? So I would love to have a world one day that is like awesome like that world is. Because he's also got farms for every single conceivable uh, item or food or whatever. And yet he still finds ways to keep things interesting and challenging. So while the new Minecraft experience where you start off with nothing and almost die to a creeper... That's fun and all. Uh, he doesn't face that challenge because, I mean, like, he spent so long in that world he would have conquered it, unless he designs, like, an arena. What am I saying? What I'm saying is that while it's certainly fun to start over every now and again, uh, ultimately it's worse, obviously, especially for videos, because then you're, doing, you're retracing your own steps. You're doing the same things over and over. All right, let's go eat. Oh, nice. Got a bunch of iron right off the bat. That is excellent. This will be our bucket, our pickaxe. Although we do have two stone pickaxes for whatever reason. I know whatever reason, because I'm dumb. See, I don't really have a timer for this episode, I'm just going to stop it at a point which I think is a good stopping point. I'm probably also going to cut it up a lot, because uh, normally watching someone do their first steps gets pretty boring. So yeah, plan is right now, just for the first couple episodes, get geared up, get to basic iron level tools and equipment. Maybe explore some of the new 1. Uh, 1.113 mechanics. Then when we're done with that, the next th the next phase is going to be building your starter house, building the starter house, or building past the starter house, getting some farms up and running. And the point is to make the farms uh, interesting, while also like there's three three things I'm going for here. I want them to be uh, efficient, like it shouldn't be pointless, or maybe it should be pointless. I don't know. It should be fun looking, like cool to watch watch it work or to use it. It shouldn't be boring. 
and it should also be efficient and preferably not lag inducing or world breaking. And that's usually a pretty hard trifecta to get going because uh, the best farms are with the highest productivity are either very boring or very laggy. So we'll try and uh, make do with what we can. I'm also going to try and incorporate, um, rather than just one building style, because I'm going to have multiple small bases, I'll have one base that's uh, basic villager themed, where it's uh, oak wood and cobblestone, your typical Minecraft theme. And I'll have one that's more of an underground type themed base, and an underwater base, and so on and so forth. And that's how I'm going to split things up. And the basic villager base I talked about, for example, it could be... It's so hard to talk and do at the same time. I didn't realize it. I would... I didn't realize how hard this would be. Let me explain. It's actually getting nighttime. That's fine. We want to get some more armor before we poke that little hive I built over there. So, what am I saying? What I'm saying is, is that uh, we'll have a bunch of different bases, they'll have different themes, and they'll have different purposes. Mostly, uh, probably some type of farm or something. So we could have in a snow biome an ice farm, because you need a snow biome for ice farms anyways. And uh, while it's there, we can also build an ice castle, for example, using products from said ice farm. So this should help us, uh, give us a reason to... I like that the advancement is with the red bed, but most players are going to do the white bed right off the bat. I guess originally the beds were only red. Which is also something I wanted to test out, but we'll wait on that. So I have a bucket. I guess let's get a sword. Swords are nice. Shield is pretty much essential after 1.9. I was so proud of myself back in the day. I basically had most of the crafting recipes memorized right off the top of my head. Now, with all, well, with all the new stuff, I don't even remember half of it. Plus, they added this recipe book here. Um, I guess let's do armor now. Now we should get a pickaxe. Sorry, other stone pickaxe. And then we'll save the last, the last of the iron. Okay, let's get my inventory organized. Um, you know, we'll keep using the stone pick till it's done. I'm usually quite the neat freak when it comes to... Did I break my bed, really? Yeah, it's fine. I'm usually quite the neat freak when it comes to inventory organization in games. Like, you saw in my previous worlds, I had gigantic storage systems. A storage system base was probably going to be another thing that we have. But we're not just going to have any old storage, storage system. We're going to make it automated and super, like uh, the Nexus from Etho. Oh yeah, if you see a lot of my builds like are similar to stuff you've ever seen before, it's because I'm really bad at coming up with cool new ideas all on my own. So what I'll typically do is find an idea someone else has done, and instead of just straight up copying it, I'll just take my own unique spin on it. You probably saw examples of that in Test World when I did the world tour of Test World. Speaking of which, I updated Test World. It's now on 113. Um, they added an option to optimize the game, which basically what happens is. As you uh, load an older world in a new version, it updates the chunks with whatever updates that are done to the chunks during new versions. Because 1.13, they did the flattening, which is a huge update, and it's awesome, because now they can have a bunch more blocks in the game that technically they couldn't before. I admittedly don't know a lot about that, but it's a thing. So, because they did that, uh, it's a huge update, and every time you explore an old chunk with 1.13, it would cause a small lag spike. And some players were noticing huge lag spikes. So Mojang added an option uh, in the uh, Edit World Features button. They added an option to optimize the world, which just loads all the chunks of the world in 1.13, so that you don't have the lag when exploring. Exploring new worlds doesn't matter, because they never had old world data saved on the chunk. Uh, old world chunk data saved in them. And I realized that was rambling and probably didn't make much sense, which is fine. I don't fully understand it myself either. Point is, yada yada yada, test world's fine. Alright, so what do we do next? We've got a decent supply of wood, we're about ready to throw ourselves in a cave. Issue is, this part of the cave doesn't go anywhere. So, I'm gonna be brave here. Poke this hornet's nest that is no longer full of mobs. Alright, I think I achieved victory. Unfortunately, this also seems to dead end, so we're going to have to find a different cave. That's fine. This is great. Uh, while we're out there, we can... You can sleep during thunderstorms during the day? It's a weird way of saying what that thing did. 
So we're going to abandon spawn for a little bit now, and we're just going to find a nice hole in the ground and throw ourselves down there and do stuff. Alright, so I don't have a lot of foods. So that's another thing we can go look for. we got some mutton, and that's about it. Uh, we could probably get some kosher bacon up there, but till then, let's just go this way. What direction is this? This is north. I'm so used to Fortnite hearing other noises means there's enemies nearby. Speaking of which, Fortnite videos are probably going to slow down. I've been having a lot of fun with the game, but I am noticing it's getting pretty repetitive. Like, uh, the grind, the meta, is real. Like, after a certain point, there is one set of best actions, and once you know how to do them and you do them, it gets uh, pretty boring. Everyone's videos look the same. To be fair, there's definitely a ton of strategy behind there, more than what meets the eye at first. Hello, chickens. You get to live because I'm taking your eggs. Hmm. So yeah, now that I'm finished with Half-Life, like, as far as I'm aware, there will be no more Half-Life, Half-Life 2 episodes, other than maybe original Half-Life, which I'll do at a later date. But as far as I'm aware, I'm done with those. So now I've got time for this. And maybe I'll also pick up, like, a modded series or a CTM. I like CTM maps. I feel like they're a real good way of showing player progression, but maybe some other custom map in 1.12 1. or something. I haven't really found anything good that I'm inspired to play yet. Pig. I'm going to need you to cooperate with me here. So, yeah, we might try that. Ugh, is this a cave now? It's also good that we get a chance to see this world, see what I've landed myself in. I did not uh, po poke around at the seed. In fact, I left the seed random. So I have no clue what's in this world. There might not be an ocean for miles, which is fine. If uh, stuff is far away, it just incentivizes us to build another system, another rail system, which is really important in making challenge. Like, if everything was easy, there'd be no point to doing it. So if there's challenge, as long as it's not a tedious artificial challenge, like genuine challenge like, hey, it takes forever to walk from one base to the other, and there's a solution to it, build a rail system, that that incentivizes the player, me in this case, to build a rail system, or go, or use the nether for transport. And that can introduce new, na new danger. The nether is a very dangerous place to traverse normally, so now you gotta make it safe. You gotta build your tunnel, you gotta build a safe one, you gotta kill this pig. Let's get a little more... Hmm. Maybe we'll find a woodland mansion. That would make an interesting starter house. <laughs> Bigger than any house I've seen before. Hello, you look fun. Yeah, that looks like it goes somewhere. Alright. Um... I wonder if it's possible to play through this game with the recipes locked. And maybe a custom set of things that it unlocks recipes as you go. Alright, we want to keep the water bucket. We don't care about this. Uh, this can stay up here because it's not going to stick well with our stuff. Do, do, do. Um, probably won't need this. Keep our bed. It would be great if it would be nighttime so we could sleep next to this chest, but I don't think that's happening. Okay then, so let's go poke around, try and find some easy iron to stick in those furnaces, um, or find a cave system with some water for us. Where? Oh, it's deep in there. I want to play around with the new swimming animation and stuff too. But right now I just want to get some iron armor, which reminds me I want to play on hard mod. I find that uh, easier difficulties of Minecraft really just are too easy. Like, um, except for early game, the game is pretty much defeated once you have a full set of iron armor. Just iron. Like, you don't even need the diamond armor half the time. Except for more extreme circumstances. And to be fair, they added in local difficulty, which no matter how many times I read the wiki on it, I still don't understand how it works exactly. Uh, basically, the longer you stay in a chunk, the more difficult mobs will spawn there, especially on harder difficulties, I think. But anyways, um, I really hope this turns out well in the video. Although, how could it? 
Like, it's one thing if it's like that episode of Half-Life 2 where it was recorded in like 12 frames per second despite me recording it at 30 frames per second. I'm treating it like a CTM. I, I want to try not to die as much as possible. Like, I shouldn't commit suicide in this game. Overall, Minecraft isn't that difficult. Alright, cool. This leads to nowhere. We're gonna get that coal later, but mining coal for a video isn't that entertaining. I just want to get the basic starter stuff going. Maybe we'll end the episode when we have uh, three skeletons. Alright, cool. Um... Yeah, no, you do th two hearts of damage every time you hit me, and I do not have enough food to take you on yet. Let's even the odds a little. Like I was saying, early game is somewhat difficult because you have a situation like that. Three skeletons, and they each do, like, 20% of your health damage. So you've either got to apply some cleverness... Or retreat and get iron armor. At least with the uh, super hostile maps, they place spawners all over the place and what have you to try and uh, to try and keep you uh, occupied and busy. Oh yeah, fight one another. If we're lucky, we'll find like a spawner so we can turn it into a grinder. I'll have to make a one point. Uh, I'll have to make a uh, mob cramming uh, compliant grinder. Maybe I'll use that uh, pressure plate system I showed off in Test World. I really hope this video comes out okay. I would love to be able to do a proper LP of Minecraft. Where's the bed? There it is. I fall down now. So yeah, our wood stocks are going okay. I'm considering... No, I'm not considering. I actually want to make a point of not playing with mods. Another thing I want to do with this series is to play it as vanilla as possible. Which means, you know, playing it in vanilla. Because uh, Minecraft, while not being physically challenging, or challenging in that the mob fighting usually isn't too bad, has a couple other challenges that uh, you can do away with. Uh, what am I saying? If you use mods, it kind of feels like cheating, like, pretend I had a mod that auto-equips the best armor I have. There are definitely some PvP servers, for example, that would consider that cheating. Playing on single-player, cheating is whatever you think it is, honestly. Like, I, sca I saved Scummed all the time when I played through uh, Half-Life 1, because, like, especially with the Zen levels, the entire point of it was actually to try and uh, play around with it and figure out what the rules of the of that uh, area were, because it wasn't really uh, explained to you, which is fine, that's Valve's, deci Valve's game-making decision. What I'm saying is is that um, t some players would consider that cheating. Me? No, I was just trying to figure out how the game works. Like, uh, can I do this? Can I do that? Can I jump there? Can I do that? So as far as in Minecraft goes, um, I want to try and play the game as the developers intended it. Which also means no resource packs, even though I hate how granite looks. So instead of uh, removing the challenge of building with granite, I'm going to try and work around it by figuring out a good way to incorporate granite into my buildings. That sort of thing. This cave does not go very deep, and I'm very saddened by that. Because it looks like this is going to dead end over here. Yep. Where are we even at? My coordinates I don't consider cheating, for example. You're a zombie. Not a zombie, a skeleton. This is my method for locating sounds. Just dig five blocks in every direction until you find where it is. Yep, yeah, switch to the iron pick. There we go, now we're tearing through it. You know what? I don't really hear it anymore. You know what? I don't really care anymore. I also wanted those blocks so I could get out of here. 
Looks like they made pillaring up with your shield a little easier. I seem to recall that being somewhat annoying in 112. It's been a little too long since I played a proper survival world, though. Like, I know I did the world tour, but before that, it was a good three months before I had played proper survival Minecraft. Okay, they're, like, behind this wall or something. Maybe they're behind this wall. I'll find some iron. Doesn't matter. Anyways, we have enough iron, I think, now to make a full suit of armor, so that's probably going to do it for our first episode. Not a whole lot's happened. Um, still just in the gearing up phase. Yep, there's all we need. But yeah. Um, let me know what you think I should do in this world. Challenges I should attempt, because uh, right now I'm still defining the rules of this world. Rules are, so far, uh, use default settings, play on hard mode, uh, default resource pack, no cheats, no mods, build multiple small bases versus big bases, and play around with 113 mechanics. Definitely build something underwater, using the new waterlogged blocks and stuff to their fullest effect. And do this with my head, that makes the screen go nuts. Apologies if there's an epilepsy thing here. Anyways, I'll do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. I look forward to playing this game and seeing you all there in the future. Take care now. Bye-bye.